Our lower body can often withstand the stresses of life, but sometimes our knees, feet, and ankles push their limits. Now, when that happens, you need surgery to repair the cartilage. And here to talk about a new procedure that can get you back on your feet is Dr. Mark Belante with Scott & White. Welcome this morning. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being here. So this new procedure out there is called biocartilage. We're going to get to that in just a second. You perform this procedure, but let's first talk about the purpose of cartilage. Sure. Well, cartilage is the shiny stuff you see on the end of our bones, just like the white stuff you see on the end of a chicken bone. Uh, it's very, very good at doing its job of cushioning the blows when we walk or run. It's thin but strong and it's very smooth. In fact, it's five times smoother than ice on ice. So it's a, it's a very, very good design and when it's intact, uh, it does a good job of keeping our knees doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem happens when it gets damaged, uh, either with a single injury or repetitive use over time. You can actually get a, a pothole in the cartilage that goes all the way down to bone. That concentrates stress and can produce pain and swelling in the knee that keeps us away from running, walking, or just the activities of daily living being comfortable. Yeah, and there's no mystery if you have a lack of cartilage or there's an issue because you're going to feel pain. Yes, uh, usually wherever the defect in the cartilage is, that's where you feel it most typically on the inside of the knee or behind the kneecap. But yes, it can be painful on a daily basis. Just sitting, getting up from a chair, walking, or any activity can be painful. What are the options if you have issues with your cartilage? Well, the problem becomes um, when you get a, uh, an injury down to bone, it doesn't heal on its own. Cartilage does not have its own blood supply. You need blood to heal. And so it ends up just being a, a focal area of stress that concentrates uh, the forces when you walk can cause pain and, and, uh, and issues. Once it gets to be full thickness, it requires treatment, and there are several surgical options. The most tried and true is called microfracture. It's where we poke holes in the lesion to get down to bone where the blood is. That blood fills that pothole and then becomes scar cartilage. It's not as good as the God-given Highland cartilage, but it's a whole lot better than having a pothole that concentrates stress. Mm -hmm. That's been around for decades and has good studies and good results. The problem is after about five or ten years, it tends to break down. So our, our researchers have been uh, developing newer techniques. Uh, some of them are pretty expensive, that's the problem. Uh, one is called ACI, where you take a biopsy of someone's cartilage, you send it to the lab, they grow millions of cells, and you implant those cells back in the knee and sew them under a patch. That works pretty well, but it's a two-step process, two surgeries, and up to $25,000 for mm -hmm. the cartilage. Uh, the next uh, level down from that is still pretty expensive. It's called de novo, but it takes adolescent cartilage cells uh, from kids that have passed away. Mm -hmm. They're minced up and implanted back in the defect. That's still pretty expensive, about $5,000, mm -hmm. and it's uh, not readily available. It's hard to get, and if you don't use it, it expires. Yeah, and we're running out of time, so mm -hmm. let's get to the, the, the new one, the biocartilage, which is cheaper. It is. So um, it's, it's got a lot of advantages compared to the others. The results are about the same, mm -hmm. uh, but it provides a scaffold for the cartilage to grow into. You put a microfracture underneath it, so it's already got the gold standard, the tried and true stuff, and it's got uh, growth factors for the cartilage to grow into as well. It's on the shelf for up to five years, so it's readily available. It doesn't expire, uh, and it's only about $1,000. Mm -hmm. So it works as good as the previous stuff. It's readily available, uh, and it's uh, easily done in one surgery only. So it's really got a lot of advantages uh, with the same results uh, as the previous uh, techniques. Yeah, you're performing the surgery, and, and patients are giving it a thumbs, thumbs up? Yeah, uh, we do it at Scott & White Healthcare here. Uh, it's got good uh, results in the patients. We've used it. It's a very promising technology. All right, doctor. Thank you so much for coming in this morning. If you missed any of that or have more questions, we're going to have answers, more answers on our website at kxan.com.